so uh, today uh, I've had the biking over at the uh, motorcycle uh, mechanics and uh, I've had the um, sump plug uh, helicoiled time worth so um, yeah basically um, just been uh, had it done uh, so it's been in all day uh, it took a while for the gas stick to come because he took the, uh, the sump pan off to do the uh, fed repair um, and uh, yeah uh, lesson learnt with that um, aluminium uh, sump pan and um, a brass sump plug so um, yeah and I don't know whether the aluminium was Strip, stripping before or whether I did it inadvertently but I've learnt from this really because somebody was saying that apparently it's got some notoriety on FJR 1300s um, because somebody said that even the recommended target settings for the sump plug um, are a bit tight for the, um, for the bike so it's been sorted out now uh, and thankfully I've been using the bike for like about two weeks since I changed the oil but as I said uh, from the previous vlogs I think it was in there okay and I don't think it was really in danger of falling out but just didn't feel right when I was putting it in so didn't want to take the chance of it dumping the oil uh, obviously and blowing the engine so from a peace of mind point of view now um, much better quite a big job, I had the bike all day to do that um, so uh, rather than try, try and do it from underneath on a, on a lift, hydraulic lift from the bike above him uh, he took the pan off and did it you know, the other way um, so pretty good assurance really now that there's no swath been stuck to me, into the engine uh, and if there's any positives to come from it, well I've had, so, I've had the oil changed again now um, this oil that was he obviously had to dump the oil to do the repair so um, yeah it's had an oil initial oil change of about five or six hundred miles in it and that oil has been removed and it's got new oil in it now um, so um, yeah the engine should be as clean as a whistle one way or the other so anyway as you can see the weather ended up a bit better today um, so I was knocking about um, I dropped the bike off this morning, it's quite cool this morning, had the heating grips on, got home, got the bus back home uh, and then got back into town midway, about mid-afternoon and then ran up about the thing, we said oh he's putting the bike together again now, it should be really bright at four, but of course this afternoon it's red hot, so uh, walking through a bus and walking around the motorcycle gear, you know, anything above 20 odd degrees, it started to sweat. So by the time I got on the bus and got to the motorcycle shop, I was a bit, uh, to use a Lancashire phrase, power fagged one way or the other. But uh, as you can see, yeah, weather's well, pretty decent at the moment now. Um, so, um, bit, uh, work, I'm working tomorrow, I should be off tomorrow, but I've actually swapped a shift, so I'm off Saturday, Sunday. But, um, I don't think I'll be doing much riding over weekend because I've got some other things on the horizon that I need to do with uh, my good lady. So, um, so yeah, happy repairs done. Um, and uh, yeah, should be uh, a-okay to get to maybe a, you know, a ride out or maybe a couple of nights away or something. Okay, that's all for now. Take care and safe something. riding. Uh, we're doing some motorway driving lately, commuting back and forth to work because some of my route to work is on the motorway and something that I've been conscious of and it's been going on a while really is this driving habit that people have of, well how can I explain it, if you're in the um, left hand lane and you're approaching a junction on a motorway or an off ramp or a slip road whatever you want to call it where you could come off so you might you, you just drive riding along the motorway you're approaching a lane that goes off to the left to exit the motorway and maybe you're a mile or so away from it half a mile and then somebody passes you while you're in the slow lane 
and then immediately gives the left hand indicator and comes in front of you to go on to the left hand slip road. Now what annoys me as a motorcyclist and it would annoy me if a motorcycle did the same manoeuvre, it's not just a car related manoeuvre, is why do people put the foot down, go in the middle lane or the fast lane knowing full well in the distance that they're going to have to come off the motorway left and then decide to barge in front um, closing up the stopping distance and then sort of going immediately left so effectively they swoop round you, give a left hand indicator and then make a dive for the left hand lane and the slip road now this seems to happen quite regular on motorways and I'm, no doubt people are going to say well you know that's what you get on a motorway if you don't like it you know get off it but you know you're trying to keep a stopping distance and a safe distance and then somebody swoops past you gives an indicator and then barges in in front of you to go in hell for leather off in the left hand lane well that's fine if it's clear and we're out of the way but what I've noticed quite a bit is on one particular junction and the video that I'm going to show after this link isn't that junction, it's another junction. But what I've noticed is they come off to go left and then traffic on the slip road, that's the road off the motorway, is then backed up and then you see all the brake lights coming on. But surely if you know you're going to go left in a mile or so, isn't the common sense thing or the safer thing is to pull behind the slow moving traffic, just wait a few moments and then give a left hand indicator and come off the motorway. Now I'm not advocating I'm the best rider in the world or the best driver in the world, we all have a fault, but it's just something I've noticed and that's particular, I particular noticed as a motorcyclist and I suppose it's because I try and keep that distance and then before you know it somebody barges in in front of you and it's all about reading the road ahead really isn't it. So I wonder what your thoughts are on that. Do um, you just think it's, you know, the way people drive a motor and it's normal? Or, you know, does it give you concern like it does for me? I don't know. Turned out nice again, hasn't it? <laughs>